Hello, welcome to Michelle Says Again. I'm Michelle and it is day six of Vlogmas. Wow, it's going fast. So today what I want to share with you from my top makes, my favorite make advent calendar, if you will, is um, a dress that I've made three times now. It is the Style Arc Nova Midi. I didn't expect this dress to be one of my favorites because it's sleeveless and before moving to Florida, I never, ever, ever wore sleeveless shirts, including like going to bed. Like I always had to have at least a short sleeve on. So I, my discomfort level or my self-consciousness is definitely eroding, um, which is a good thing. Um, partly by necessity because it, do, it does get so hot here in Florida and partly just because I think age, it's like, who cares? <laughs> so uh, I wanna be comfortable. The dresses are adorable and um, yeah, they make me happy. So today I am sharing with you my paint pour um, Nova Midi. I am gonna link uh, my review to the dress <laughs> over here in the cards and um, I'm gonna share with you a few styling tips. So I get a ton of wear out of all three of my Nova Midis. So today is my, uh, it's called Paint Pour, the fabric. It's from Joann's and it's one of their customizable fabrics. So if you're not familiar with that, basically what you do, they have a, a ton of patterns um, on the customizable website. It is not available through the app. You can only do it through their website. Not sponsored, um, just a fan. Um, and you can change the number of times the pattern repeats. You can change the scale of the pattern. Um, I went with a one repeat with the pattern as big as possible. Um, I have played around with it and I would probably also do the same print in a lot of repeats on a small scale and you can flip it. So it kind of looks like a kaleidoscope. It's really cool. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. Anyway, so this is the paint pour fabric I bought from Joann's. I got it in this, um, it's 100% cotton. So it's like a quilting cotton. It's kind of stiff, probably a little too stiff for this dress, but I don't care. I like it anyway. Um, and I've gotten to the point where I don't even need the instructions, which it's a style art pattern. So that's good because their instructions are crap. <laughs> um, but the only modif I've made two modifications to this pattern for myself. One is I lengthen the bodice because I don't like the um, waistline to cut right under my boobs. Um, I like it to be lower, kind of closer to my natural waist. It's not quite all the way down, but I like I prefer it there. And I've also, um, it calls for the bodice to be lined, but because I've been using heavier fabrics, I haven't lined it. I know lining it makes it nicer, um, but I just use, um, well, on this one, I just turned the edges under and I use bias binding on the neckline. Um, and yeah, so I use the elastic method to gather the, um, for the gathers on the tiers um, that I learned from Sam at Frugalisma, who I will link in the description box below. I use that method for every tiered skirt that I make now. Um, the only exception was my um, valley dress that I made recently because that fabric was so delicate. I was afraid, I don't know, I felt like that was too much. So I did do the traditional, you know, did do the traditional longer stitches um, and did the gathers that way. I don't prefer that method just because it takes me longer. It's harder for me. I'm just not coordinated enough, I guess, to get the gathers to be even. So I like the elastic method. Anyway, so um, I have styled it for you three different ways. I've kind of taken you from summer to winter. The first is the summer where it's just the dress and some cute orange sandals that pick up the orange in the color of the dress. And those are my Vince Camuto orange sandals that I wore in another video already this week. Um, and I paired it with some dazzly gold hoops that have some crystals in them. 
For the second look, I kind of transitioned a little bit and took us into fall. And I put on this uh, black and white striped tee, which is an old ready to wear tee. It's got a deep scoop, so it doesn't, I don't like it when I layer tees and the neckline of the tee pe peeks out, unless it's a turtleneck and it's intended to. So this actually works perfect with this. Um, and I paired that with my purple suede bands that are worn the heck out because I wear these things all the time. And then I went one step further and I styled it up for winter. I added leggings, I added my denim jacket, and I added my fabulous abacus shawl. And um, truth be told, if I were to style this this way to wear it, I have a pair of black capri leggings. They hit just above my ankle that are a slimmer fit, like they grab my calves instead of the loose that these are. I would go that way rather than these looser ones, um, but these work too. And I don't have tights because I don't, I haven't worn them in so long, but I think this could also look good with the tee underneath, some tights and some ankle booties. I think that would be, I have a pair of black ankle booties with a heel. I think that would look really cool too. So um, yeah, those are my styling options for my Nova Midi today. And wherever you are, I hope the weather is amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in. I thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.